Here's the thing. Robert Kiyosaki said, if you want to go somewhere, it is best to find someone who has already been there. If you want to achieve something, it's the best to first sit down and make a list of people who have achieved that particular thing and make them your teachers. Not only that, you must try as much as possible to avoid the advice of the people who have never achieved what you want to achieve because these people will poison your dreams and make you to be like themselves. As a young person, I think the most harmful thing that can ever happen to you is for you to have bad mentors. And who are the bad mentors? Very simple. Bad mentors are those people who give you advice even though they have never achieved what you want to achieve with your life. My Struggle With My Family When I became an adult, I just understood very clearly that nobody in my immediate environment has achieved what I wanted for my life. Almost everyone is poor. Most of them had bad marriages, not many people were mentally sound and needless to say, none of them was a national figure or influencer which is what I wanted to be. Because no one in my immediate environment has what I wanted out of life, I just knew that I was going to be rebellious to these people so I stopped taking advice from them. That was the toughest period in my life because everyone thought that I was rude. You know, they are your teachers, your aunties, your uncles and your parents. They believe that they know more than you and that you ought to listen to their advice about your career, money and life. Don't listen to failures. As a matter of law, your life is going to end the way that your advisors end. In other words, you'll become who your advisors are so if you listen to failures, you'll fail. These failures are everywhere in the society. They are on the TV, they are in your school, where you work, among your friends and even right in your family. Take advice from them and you'll soon be like them. If you want to go somewhere, don't ask anyone who has never been there to give you the map of where you're going. How to know failures So, how can you know failure? Sometimes it's very obvious, usually for those guys who are already old. If for example, a 65-year-old poor uncle is advising you about money, it's obvious that he's broke and believe me, people who are broke at such age aren't qualified to teach anyone about money. Get me right, being broke isn't a bad thing if you're young and pursuing your dreams. You may be broke because you're investing every dollar you have into your business. You may be broke because you are investing in the real estate, stock or anything. You may even be broke because your business has not started generating great income and that's completely fine since you are still young. But to be broke at 65 is another issue entirely. So, the very first sign to know who not to take advice from is by identifying those who don't have what you want for your life and exclude them from your list of advisors. Second are the negative people. These people are everywhere. Just this morning, I was thinking about my family members. Almost every big thing I have ever tried, one of them would tell me that it's not possible. One of my brothers once told me that I could not succeed in business because no one would raise capital for me since our parents are poor. He was wrong because I ended up getting more than enough capital from a stranger. Yes, a stranger who didn't know me from Adam. They once discouraged me from going to a great school because they thought I was not brilliant enough for such school but they were wrong because I'm brilliant than any of them. Negative people are everywhere, they are on national TV, they are in your city, they are among your friends and they live right inside your home sometimes. They are not supposed to be your advisors or else they will discourage you with their negativism. If you want to go somewhere, it is best to find someone who has already been there, not spectators and negative people. You see, the world is beautiful and there are ordinary people rising every day to become great and successful. If anyone tells you that you are disadvantaged because you are black or woman or born by poor parents, that's just because they are failures themselves and they want to drag you to where they are. Looking for your real father Your real father is that person who has achieved what you wanted to achieve. Your primary duty is to study these people and understand how they become who they become because they are the ones who have been to where you want to be. Now, how do you know those who are where you are going? This is super easy. 
Let's say you want to be a great neurosurgeon. A simple Google search with the keywords great neurosurgeons gives you a list of the greatest neurosurgeons in the world. You'll see Ben Carson, Harvey Cushing, Walter Dandy, Gazi Azagil, and many others. These people have written books. Many of them will have biographies and autobiographies. That's the starting point. Sit down with everything you can find about the top 10 people who have achieved what you want to achieve and before you know it, you'll start thinking like them. Because you see their struggles, failures and disappointments, you'll be encouraged to know that your own failures are normal. Because you see how these people transform their lives from zero to national fame, you start believing in yourself. This exactly was what I did when I decided to be rich. I looked for and read every single book I could find by people who are rich. I read these books as if my life depended on them and it does. I studied biographies of great people to know what they went through to achieve greatness. I watched videos and listened to great people. Before I knew it, I no longer think like normal people anymore. I no longer believe that the rich have taken all the wealth. I no longer believe that my destiny is in the hands of the political leaders and most importantly, I had courage to fail again and again without losing hope. I didn't lose hope not because I was stronger than everyone but because I have read how people who achieved what I wanted to achieve went through several failures, pains and disappointments. I knew it was just normal so I smiled and fought hard until I succeeded. If you want to go somewhere, it is best to find someone who has already been there. That's the advice of Robert Kiyosaki and that's my advice for you. If you want to achieve anything, your first duty is to identify at least 10 people who have achieved that particular thing. Look everywhere for their biographies, the books they wrote, the books others wrote about them, their videos and audios if any. Study these works and you start thinking like them. Avoid negative people and failures because they are contagious. Believe me, the war is in your mind. The minute your mind starts changing is the minute you start becoming a new person and that minute can be today. Sit in a lonely place and identify those who have achieved what you want to achieve. Study them, think like them, act like them and one day you will become them. If you want to go somewhere, it is best to find someone who has already been there.